I don't know what date was we went in there. But I don't like to talk about it, but, but I'll tell you this much by experience. We got in there. That accelerator, they told us, hey, we got all the records and everything out of, out of the office, all the records and everything. That smokestack, they had a record over 52 thousand of them went up in the smoke. Now, I do believe, that's my belief, they'd work that slave labor with half fed. They didn't have enough food to feed them. They'd work them until they'd get so weak and so sick, they'd send them to the infirmary. But the only way they'd have left the infirmary was up that smokestack. They would put them in a room they gas them, and when they couldn't gas them, they were laying out there on the outside, had white lime over them to kill the odor before they could put them in the smokestack. That's what I saw. I ain't gonna tell you more about it. But what was in our life was skin and bones. Laying there, sick on the floor, couldn't hardly live. And the medics, we went in there with the medics, they, they'd pick them up as fast as they could and carry them to the, to the hospital as fast as they could get them. It took us about, I don't know, three or four days, the best I remember, to get it liberated, to get, get them all out there and burn it down and die about it. They, they, they called the demolition, you know, they take it off the bell. But they were laying out there with lime. I don't know, just listen, just like cordwood. That was it. It was all over the world. All over the world. A lot of folks don't believe it, but I saw it. I saw it with my own eyes, and I know what we're talking about. It was horrible, horrible.